it is introduced by marcus hohen water that is in 2001 that is 20 years ago and it is made available to teaching learning community of uh, mathematics so we are here to have such a wonderful tool geobra and this is the world's favorite mathematical tool though there are so many desmos uh, graphmatica so many geobra is uh, Uh, so, so your voice is some, breaking down here. Your voice is some breaking. Some of the project you can see now. Hello. Sir, voice is, is not. Problem here. facing by everybody. Or sir, your voice is not here. Maybe your network problem. What about that, sir? Hello. Sir, voice is breaking, sir. Voice is breaking. Hello. And there is some duration of lags okay. also, sir. Okay, let us see. So, you can view now. My screen is viewable. Now you can see some of the applets made by me. That is area of circle, for example. You can see here it is area of circle. It is coming. we are dividing a circle into four sectors then we are derenching the segments into a familiar shape but it is not a familiar shape then what we will do is we will increase the number of segments like this then we will arrange then we can see that it is coming exactly into a familiar shape such a wonderful things we can make using geogebra now is it okay you can view now like it is viewable now yes sir yes yes sir yes yes sir yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes. Oh, okay Visible. okay okay so we can uh, make so many such a wonderful animations in mathematics and now you can see suppose We have a triangle problem. So whatever the topic, whether it is algebra or geometry, don't think that it is geogebra means geometry and algebra. Uh, that is these two words collapsed together in the web way. That is geogebra. geometry and algebra that is what geogebra but we can utilize it for any other topic trigonometry statistics so everywhere we can utilize even physics economics everywhere we can utilize here you can see that we can change the angles like this and every time we can see that the blue colored angles are equal corresponding angles uh, alternate integer angles and red color are equal because corresponding angles so like that the student can easily understand we are not giving a simple diagram student is free to rotate the things like this okay now i think you, you can view the things very nicely is it okay shall i continue yes sir yes, okay, sir. okay. Yes, sir. now yes, we may see that what about the sum of exterior angles so student will enjoy playing games like this okay now first of all we can set the triangle like this everywhere you can set it anywhere b can be here or it can be here okay no problem once the triangle is fixed now you just click the start animation button here it is start animation button click it 
Now you see that uh, car is taking a rotation at the junctions. These rotations will be exterior angles. And you can see, of course, that will be uh, 360 degrees. Some total that is 360 degree. Then refresh button is given. Then we can change it like this. Now what will happen? Let us see. Otherwise, what the student will think, or oh, teacher adjusted some, something in a triangle, and it may not be true in a various case like that. But GeoGebra is giving various liberty, ample opportunity to change the diagram according to the student. So start animation. Now let us see. It is taking different angle now. But no problem. The property says the total sum will be uh, 360 degrees. Now you see again 360 degrees. What I am showing you uh, some of the projects I made. Now you can see some of angles in a triangle. Means just to see the scope of GeoGebra, I am showing this one. And in order to use this software, we don't need any practice of coding or GeoGebra knowledge. We can simply click it. What I am doing, I will show you once again. And you go to Google and type Max Pizza. That is my website, Max Pizza. Just to enter it. Then you are getting a web portal like this. What? Then download section. There is a download section. Click it. Then you can see that digital games uh, class tall, digital games uh, general, digital games uh, like a uh, class wise I have sorted. Then you can click any of them, then it will be open for you. Now, for example, digital games in general, just to click it. Now you can see there are some mathematical properties. For example, new year 2022. Okay, it is coming. It is opening online. You are viewing now without any knowledge of GeoGebra. Yes, teacher or learner can use it. That part I am showing first of all. That is somebody made it for you. You are just using it. For that, no need of any GeoGebra coding or knowledge for that. As I told you, GeoGebra is a Java based dynamic platform. So perchance you may think that uh, whether you have the knowledge of Java for understanding GeoGebra, nothing like that. Okay. It is coming, one minute. Some problem it is showing. Okay, let us see now mathematical cricket. Okay. Nowadays, you know, learning by gamification, that is through games we are studying. Uh, mathematics, that will be very interesting. So here, we are introducing max cricket. To play cricket, a student like very much, but it is mathematics. The purpose of this game is to equip the students the mastery of addition and the subtraction of uh, numbers. So some rules are there. I am not wasting the time by reading it. Just hide it. You can see it later also. Just to recollect my web portal name, Please note down if you want. That is www.maxpisa.com. Please see it here. Then just open it. You go to download section. You can get all this thing. But I want to tell you, in order to view it, a learner need not have any knowledge of GeoGebra. Okay. Now what is here? Toss and start. There is a button. So I am just clicking it. Team B won the toss and bats. Now, in the cricket, usually we are throwing a ball. Am I audible? No, no? Yes, no. Okay, okay, okay. Screen is viewable. Yeah, we can see yes, this screen also. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ത്രോ പ്ലീസ് ദർ ഇസ് എ ബട്ടൺ ഇൻസ്റ്റഡ് ഓഫ് ത്രോയിങ് എ ബോൾ ഇൻ യൂഷൽ ക്രിക്കറ്റ് ഹിയർ ബീങ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ മാക്സ് ക്രിക്കറ്റ് ത്രോ എ ഡൈ സോ ജസ്റ്റ് ക്ലിക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദീസ് നോ യു സി ഡൈ ഇസ് ഷോയിങ് അപ്പ് എ നമ്പർ സിക്സ് Learner can note down, otherwise also no problem. I will continue the game. Hit button is there. Just click it. Now again another number came up. That is 4. Then filter is there. So throw. Now you see one equation came up. 6 plus 4 minus 5. Learner has to type in the value there. That is, you know, 6 plus 4, 10 minus 5. minus so 5 then you just uh, enter it then that will be the run that is in the first ball five runs uh, he got then again continue then hit then throw now you can see 1 plus 4 minus 2 so that will be 3 so student has to type in the correct answer then only a run will be showing there otherwise it will not show so 1 plus 4 5 minus 2 3 just enter it now you can see second time he got 3 overall now 8 runs he got let us continue then like this we can make any game any idea can be converted in terms of geogebra appellate only the thing we should have some idea about that software now again hit and throw then we can see five so type it then again throw it what i want to show you suppose this baller is this baller is getting the same run as the batsman then the baller will be uh then the batsman will be out what i want to tell you now this is the score for this bowler now this is the score for batsman what happens both are four bowler got a four batsman also got to four then automatically batsman will be out we can type in the names of the two players not 11 players here only two players Uh, just a breathed version of a cricket so like that any yani gamification theory we can present using geogebra so this is a very uh, wonderful software uh, we can have any magical property also there here it is opening now it is a network problem okay here there are 25 numbers one of you can choose any number please very fast 444 yeah your number is here ma'am and you see the number came and one row and one column got to cancel then the cancelled numbers you have no choice then any other number which is not cancelled you can choose which number you want anybody please anybody else you can just a mass participation 423 423 that is uh, here okay thank you sir and we got two numbers you can see the numbers are there then again some numbers got cancelled from the remaining uh, not cancelled numbers any other number please one number 329 5 329 okay how taken it then again you have to choose one more number two more numbers 512 512 okay then ultimately number of not cancelled numbers uh, only one now that is 314 you have to choose that also you got five numbers these numbers were your choice and what happened that is the sum is the current year after showing this to a class we will ask the student as assignment that is thought provoking assignment gone are the days whatever is we are teaching uh, the same a plus b all code and the same it is uh, repeating nothing like that so student should see what is the mathematics no what is the mathematics behind this magic number 1 second will it be working for any year randomly chosen whether it is a magical property 
uh, fulfilled, satisfied only for this current year or will it work for coming year or past year or 1947 or something like that. Then these type of assignments we can give to the students. Then they will like mathematics. They will not say, oh, mathematics, let's run away. Uh, they will say, oh, mathematics, we can have fun with it. Okay, one more game we will see. Not one more, two, three games we can see, please. Now I will show you another that is uh, uh, the digit you dislike. A very simple project, but it's very interesting. We will ask the student, uh, somebody will say, which is the digit you dislike? Digit you don't like, then suppose the student says a two, or if it is in three, do you have any option, please? Anybody? Any digit from zero to nine? Your choice? Any choice? Eight. Eight. Okay, very good. Eight. Then that is your choice. We will ask the student to write this number multiplied by eight. Then what is the answer? Answer is this. And we will ask the student to multiply this number by nine. A magic surprise is waiting for you. That is. And do you say that uh, <laughs> this digit you don't like? You see how beautiful digit it is. So number theory. Student, uh, student can learn number theory using this thing. So they will understand why it is happening. You can see whether it was your choice seven, then it is coming. So finally, the student is unknowingly writing uh, 11 times, I think, uh, 7. So you can see 6. It will work with the 5. It will work with the 4, like that. Okay, now I will show you another magic for you. That is what is called a mind scanner. Everywhere, mathematics will be there. So I want a player with me. So are you ready? One of you, please. Are you ready? Yes. Please come. Okay. One, uh, one of you ready, please. Okay. Please write a two-digit number. For example, 69. I do say example means you need to write a 69. You can write a 71. You can write a 54, something. Two-digit number. Instructions are there on the screen. Think of any two-digit number. Okay. Have you written it? Yes. Okay. Subtract its digits from it. For example, 69 had it been your number, your choice. 6 and 9, you have to subtract. Then 54 will be the answer. Are you ready with the answer? Yes. Okay. In the table, find this number and the corresponding symbol. You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 99 numbers are written on the table side by Anch against the answer what i want to tell you not the number your number is 69 but answer is 54 oh. against 54 you have to yes. see the symbol means uh, your answer you need not reveal you need not uh, disclose the number please just to keep in your mind you need not say my uh, answer is a uh, 51 or 43 something like this don't do you just look at the table and against your answer means the digits subtracted from the thought of number, then you got one symbol. Please note down that symbol also. Done, sir? Yes. Okay. Now look at the brain. Your brain, here it is. Assume here it is your brain and concentrate this red point. These are all just a funny way to make it a magic. And just to concentrate, we will ask the students, they will be curiously watching and we will scan the brain. What will happen? Let us see. Scanning is progressing. Then after the scanning, the symbol will be there. Is it correct, sir? Yes. It's correct. It is correct. It is correct now? Yes. Okay, we will restart again. So please, somebody else scratch it two digits number very fast done it hello done it yes sir done it sir. yes sir please please note down a two digit number subtract the digits 
like earlier same process and against that answer one symbol will be there please note down that symbol is it okay ready ready okay i am going to click the scan button concentrate here this red point that's a funny way as i told you actually there is no magic only mathematics is it okay sir i understood the ah. magic behind okay this. thank you ah so we will <laughs> assign the work to the students so why it happens so please explain ma'am there are multiple answers which is related to this symbol okay so if anybody take that ah. number and uh, if i i got uh, 27 ah. so uh, 27 has this uh, symbol and somebody has got another number ah. that also go, uh, has this num this symbol like this all Means, the, uh, can, uh, can can you tell me any peculiarity with the answers multiples uh, of 9 i think sir yes exactly <laughs> correct yes, yes. so you can prove it now because a two digit number suppose x and y are the digits then what is that two digit number please how will you write the number when the digits are x and y 10x plus y that, that will be 10x plus y am i correct that will be 10x plus y am i correct yes 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 10x plus y is your number mm. correct now yes then from 10x plus y you subtract x and y what you are getting you tell me means your number is 10x plus y 9x 9x answer would be 9x yeah 9x means that will be a multiple, multiple of 9 multiple of 9 and look at the table you can see that against every multiple of 9 i used the same symbol yes sir have you got the idea and there is another one is there and every time uh, i will change the card yeah. symbol is changing uh, uh, same thing but i will change uh, when we restart now yes then the, the table, symbol is changing table will be changing table will be yes, changing yes. symbols will be changing but again property will be remaining yes sir i understood uh, that uh, understood o okay this also i made by geogebra app literally so there are many many projects are here like this then one more thing we can just to make the learner interesting towards mathematics we can utilize all these things this uh, another interesting magic again mathematics only not a magic we are making it uh, using geogebra just for presentation purpose now you can utilize all this thing without the knowledge of geogebra so we will come to that so you can tell me any four digit number please 4.67 what uh? 4567 yeah very good 4561 that is your first number four digit number here you can see we are going to write five numbers all are of four digits and we will add all these five numbers not after writing five numbers just now that's the magic what we are going to see only one number you told me your second number is coming only your third number is yet to come my first number and my second number are there three number yours and two numbers mine and sum is already given then note down the sum please otherwise you may say i changed the sum please note down the sum 24565 have you done it okay Please tell me the, your second number, please. Four-digit number again. Four-digit number, please. Four nine, sir. Four nine. Four nine. Four. All numbers are nine. All nine, numbers. Nine 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 thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Okay, like this. And I am giving you my first number. Your third number, please. My turn. Two thousand one hundred. Two thousand one hundred, and my last number. Now you see the sum is exactly the same. What what is the magic behind it? Okay, you can say that my number can be adjusted to get this sum. No, But sir, your your number is uh, the 
If you add the both the numbers, you will get only nine, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly correct. I mean, your number and this number and this number, second and third, that will be four nines. And your fourth number, I mean this number, what I am showing on the screen, two one zero zero, and seven eight nine nine, that will be again four nines. Four nine. Then four nines plus four nines plus a number, that will be this. But how I am writing it directly from looking at the first number? Anybody? Seeing the first number alone. Seeing the first number alone, we can write that sum. What technique I utilize? Can you, you tell me? You just subtract two. Yeah. Subtract two and place it before the number. That's all. Am I correct? Yes. Four, five, six, seven, subtract two. Subtract two means four, five, six, five. Then that two I am placing here. That is two, four, five, six, five. It will be working every time. Okay, thank you. And uh, many other magics are there, even for high level mathematics, that is plus two mathematics, etc. are there. Are you dealing with the plus two level? Anybody here? Yes. No, sir. Oh, yes, no. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here, here you can see some. Uh, so many are there, for example, ITF visualization, that is inverse trigonometry function visualization. Actually, you know, uh, we are writing the equation uh, tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 is pi by 4. You know the proof that is by means of inverse trigonometry function. Uh, we have a ready-made formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus xy. But what is the visualization? So that we are going to see here. Just to start. Then what happens? One triangle is formed. And you can see that for this triangle, what is the angle? The red angle is a tan inverse 1 by 2. Am I correct? Correct now? This red angle is a tan inverse 1 by 2 because opposite. Yes, yes, correct. Sir. I, yes, correct. Yeah, correct. Sir. Oh, correct, yes, correct. correct. Yes, Okay. Then we will continue. That is tan inverse 1 by 2 visualize. Tan inverse 1 by 2 visualize. So this visualization means that some teachers used to say, oh, that is up to 10th class. Not like that. We can have the GeoGebra to any level, even to degree level or PG level or beyond that. This is a universal software we can utilize for any subject also. Even we can utilize it for a quiz program, etc. in English. So many things we can utilize. Okay, let us continue the animation. Now you see I am taking another triangle having base 3 unit and altitude 1 unit. Base 3 unit. I do say unit, not CM. Previously, one unit was uh, say this much only. But here, one unit is this much. I can change the unit now. What is there? So here, one unit altitude and three unit base. For the second triangle, now you see what about this green angle? Will it be tan inverse 1 by 3? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So what we have to show is uh, just to add this red and green. How much it will be? The requirement is a pi by 4. How to visualize it? Let us see what is happening. We will complete a square. And exactly now you see the diagonal passes through here. So what will be this angle? The diagonal of a square divides this okay. angle 90 degree into half each. So that will be pi by 4. Is it clear? Yes. Exactly it is clear now. Yes, sir. That is instead of showing this formula base that is on the right hand side given now, tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 is equal to tan inverse 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 divided by, then we can get it. But there is no charming because student will see how it is, what may be the reason. But here you see the student is understanding it perfectly. Am I correct, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Then again, you can see another one we can show. That is like this. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the uh, new trigonal inverse number identity? Tan inverse 1, not identity equation. Tan inverse 1 plus tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 is equal to pi by 2. Now, that is very simple. Consider this triangle now. The other part of this square. That is A, K, J. And here it is one unit. Here it is one unit. 
So tan inverse of one is the blue angle. Am I correct? Tan inverse one by one. One by one means one. Opposite side one. Adjacent side also one. So one by one means one. So blue angle is a tan inverse of one. So what is the demand? We have to add red plus a green plus blue. That is exactly 90 degree because angle of a square is 90 degree. That is very, very clear. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So like that, we can give many visualization. For example, another thing. <laughs> Somebody please mute the mic. Okay, listen please. Suppose we are given a sheet. We are given a yellow sheet. Please mute. Max disturbing me. Okay, listen please. So you can see a square sheet, I mean a rectangular sheet is given to us, a 45 unit length and 24. Then here we are cutting the corner, square corners from this sheet and folding the flaps and we are making the box like this, open box. You can see the animation. I think exactly you are viewing. Sometimes the lagging may be there due to network issue but you can open it later on, please do it. Then you can enjoy the actual animation. So you can see, please, it is working like anything. Now, question is, what will be the maximum area that is related to calculus? The problem is given here. A rectangular sheet of 1045 cm by 24 cm is to be made into a box without the top by cutting off square from each corner and folding up the flaps. What should be the side of the score to be cut off so that the volume of the box is maximum? So that's the question. So now you can see that when I am keeping it exactly five and I am taking a volume graph here, problem, let me hide. And when I am changing, you can see in the graph, the volume curve, volume graph is showing like this. Now volume is going down, volume coming up, volume coming up, volume coming up. Then you can see exactly now is the maximum volume. Am I correct? Means the square should be of side uh, 5 cm. Square should be of side 5 cm. So that is exactly we are getting through computer animation. And the same answer we are getting through calculus second derivative test and we are using maxima exactly 5 cm we are getting so along with the students should appreciate the knowledge of calculus that is at a par with the modern computer technology exactly that five unit that is there is it okay really interesting now yes hello sir. Yes. Yes, yeah sir. yeah so, so Students yes, sir. Very interesting. will have a good knowledge for that. Very interesting. And uh, you, you can utilize all these in your classes hereafter. Uh, line in 3D, that, that is also possible. Three-dimensional geometry, that is also possible in GeoGebra. Actually, uh, this one and a half time will not be uh, enough to teach all these things. So that is why I am giving it just, uh, I am going to ignite your minds uh, this uh, GeoGebra is a very wonderful tool, but uh, at least uh, one small animation I can show you. We will do together after this. So here you can see in three-dimensional geometry, junior class teachers, please see. Senior class, you know, a line is there and a parallel vector is there. Okay. Now, how to find the equation to this one that in order to teach? So this figure we can't show on the board because board is a 2D plane and how you can show this 3D there. So exactly student can see, oh, this is the line and this is the vector. You can change the points like this and accordingly it is changing. Now you see, you may say that oh, vector is not parallel to the line. The start animation, you can see exactly they are parallel. Are you getting the point? Exactly they are parallel. Well, and now we can show the vector also here like this. You see, 
now the rotation wise exactly we can derive the equation that is ap vector is collinear means parallel to the green vector b bar so ap is equal to lambda b bar something like this very clearly student can understand it okay so many such things are packed with uh, my web portal and not only in my web portal you can go to geogebra materials just type it geogebra materials here this part i am dealing to use geogebra applet without the use of uh, geogebra coding knowledge classroom resources geogebra just click it now so many this is a global platform as i told you you can see that these fellows may not be from india from the world they are making it and more than 1 million over 1 million you see not one or two 1 million free activities packed in geogebra for you only the thing teacher should find the useful one for example you can type angle sum property of a triangle or in physics also we can utilize angle sum property of a triangle angle sum property of a triangle just type it like this okay listen please just enter then the corresponding angle sum property of triangles made by so many fellows from the world will come and which you like suppose you are going to take this one okay you like this one just click it okay now this you can show online like this one minute it is loading only online i am showing then you can see that okay okay now it is moving do you see the animation please yes sir yes sir do you see the animation yeah yeah you can yes. show it in your classrooms like this for any topic you type of course you will get a one animation minimum here you can see so many animation we got and suppose you want to download it what you have to do is there is the three dots there are three dots here do you see it right hand side the top corner just click it then there will be details then just click it now download there is a button download just click it then i agree one demand non commercial license you can download but don't use it for commercial purpose copyright is there so don't sell it you just uh, use it so agree to that commercial non commercial license then you can get it applet ggb just uh, click it ggb means a geogebra extension code you know in word that is doc or docs like this extension is ggb then you got it here then you can open it and you can use it offline you can modify you can add anything 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 you can do but don't sell it so this way we can utilize geogebra in a very fantastic way i think uh, this much is clear any doubt till now anybody please any doubt is it okay sir this much okay sir Oh. Uh, you yeah. games you showed yeah. on maths pizza are all developed in, on um, geogebra is it yeah okay. i understood that how i am putting uh, in the web portal correct that yeah hello you was sound got stuck sir voice is okay do you want to know hello 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 okay. can hear you yeah 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 please repeat your doubts 
like how you created all these uh, games okay okay uh, so for that you have to open the software geogebra so geogebra how to get it that is very simple free software as i told you just you go to the google type type geogebra type geogebra just enter it the global community platform geogebra is there so okay geogebra.org you can just click it there you can get the softwares here you can get the softwares not resources you can get the softwares here app downloads you go to app downloads left hand side then calculator suite graphing calculator then geogebra classic 6 that i am utilizing or geogebra classic 5 this is the latest version this is just a previous version this also will do for a beginner just download it and install it this is hardly 50 mb software that is the starting point of what i want to tell you i think this much is clear you just go to this web portal that is a international platform go to app downloads download there is here two versions are available now previously geogebra 4 version also i utilize but uh, every version is a uh, little bit uh, advanced version so here geogebra classic 5 will do uh, so you download it and just install it very simply you can do it i am not doing it now because i already done it for you so after that you can get uh, one icon like this on the screen this is just like a chain symbol that is called geogebra then just open it my screen is viewable now yes sir my screen viewable yes sir now this is the platform of geogebra nothing like that no animation nothing you see you now only the thing axis x axis and y axis are there here there is a plus symbol just click it then you can take the axis to anywhere as you like means so shifting the origin what we say in mathematics suppose you want to place it here this is the platform now suppose you want to show a line just you type the equation y is equal to x there is a input input box here y is equal to x input y is equal to x just enter it you are getting a line okay now suppose i am choosing a point on the line take a point point on the object and a point is there i am taking point on the object every command is there automatically you can see here under this a tool bar and every tool you can see so many tools are available there point option is there point on object is there attach detach point intersect a midpoint a complex number etc you have to study one by one these tools first of all i have been using geogebra for more than 15 years so you can start today means how to start you start by doing research with this geogebra what type of research don't be confused about research just click this one okay point just place somewhere just click it or oh, you got a point you click it again you got another point click it again you got a point so you can see what to do with that tool it is writing there you see click on the graphics view or on line function or curve so i am clicking on the line when i am clicking the line you see the line is getting highlighted just click it so i got a point now instead of using input bar you can have a line directly from this tool also here you can see line command is there 
see once again i am just mouse over that tool not click automatically it will show you what to do line select two points select two points i have two points just click that one and just click this one then you can see first of all you click this one that's very important that should be highlighted then only it will work then click this point and click this point you got a line is it simple are you sitting with the computer yes, can you practice it along with me can you practice it yes okay now i got a line now you see there is a move button move button just click it then you can change the point you see the thing when i change the point the line position is changing i can place it here and i can place it here this is one way of doing a straight line and suppose i don't want this axis i don't want to show the axis without axis there is no meaning of straight line that is secondary but suppose i don't want axis now just right click just right click then you can see axis and grid if you click grid then grid will be there now you can see graph sheet is there but i don't want that grid to just click it again grid is disappearing just right click again axis you just click it axis also hidden axis are there but just hidden so you can avoid such things if you want you can bring it back once again how to bring it back just right click then click the axis you see axis are there just right click click the grid button then grid is also there now it is very clearly you can choose a point here you can choose a point here i don't want a line segment i want don't want a line now i want a line segment only what to do just a downward arrow is there that is for extension of the toolbox just click it their line segment is there just click it i think my presentation is uh, viewable to you any problem no no sir no sir okay, visible okay, okay, visible okay, okay thank you thank you then you just click this d and just click e now you see we got a line segment not only that we got the length of the line segment also here this box is called a algebra box you can just close it if you don't want if you want it to go to view please see view algebra just click it it is coming again all our commands are there you see the line actually we didn't uh, type the equation like this but it will be there automatically i will show you once again suppose i am making it new see nothing there what i am doing listen please take a point click it here click it here i got two points then go to line command click it line command click it click at a click at b i got the line but automatically line equation ax plus by is equal to that is there do you see it automatically line equation will be there you need not do that automatically it will come and if you want to type in that you can do 2x you see the input box below plus y is equal to 6 then after that just enter it now you see another line is also there okay very interesting now you want to bring it down how to bring it down see please move graphics view this cross symbol just click it then one palm will be there means just you are moving the position so that that uh, intersecting point uh, viewable to you now where is the intersecting point you can see like this but it is very tremendous how to get it there is a tool you can see that intersect there is a command see intersect command once again go to the point command below there is a triangle arrow downward arrow click it then intersect command is there just click it then you click this line and click this line 
then you see C is the point of intersection. Is it okay understood? Shall I yes. show you once again? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, suppose you want to show the coordinates, so see here only. Okay. For that, either you click here in the algebra box, C is highlighted, just right click and object properties. Now, there is show label, tick mark is there, but I am showing you. Suppose I am unchecked this box, that C is vanishing. The name of the intersecting point C is vanishing. You want to show it, just click it. Now you see, do you see that C is coming and vanishing? Yes. Okay. Now in the column name, you just click it. Name and value, just click it. Now you see the intersecting point is also shown there. Are you getting the point? C is the intersecting point, 0 0.44, 5.12, that is the point of intersection. Now, these two lines uh, you see, uh, we want to color it. How to color these lines? Just uh, bring the cursor to the line, then automatically it will be highlighting. Right click it, then go to object properties, then you can see a pop-up window will be there, then color option color tab is there color tab color tab just click it color tab click it i am clicking it a red and style button is there line thickness you can increase you see but a line should not have any thickness no so let us keep some five okay then line style you can line style means a dash line if you want to like this or continuous line, dotted line, dash line, or sorted line. Whatever you want, you can take it like this. Suppose I am choosing it a dash line. So you see, now this is a dash line. So such all commands you should practice. Then only animation we can. Okay, come back. Then this line, again, right click, object properties, then color. This time I'm giving green color, then I am making it to seven points. Then I want a dash line or I want a dotted line that you can decide like this. So, okay, wonderfully, we can do all this thing like this. Now, one dot line is there, one red line is there, meeting point is there. Okay, now again, I can make the page new. Don't save. I don't want to save it. If you want to keep it, then you save it. That's all. Now, another point, what I want to tell you. Uh, here, midpoint or sender command is there. So similarly, each and every tool, what it will do, just you want to study midpoint or sender tool, just click it. Midpoint or sender tool, just click it. Then what is this tool will, what this tool will do, just mouse over that tool, midpoint or center, select two points, one segment, circle, or conic, that they are saying. Okay, so I will make a line segment here. I will make a two points here. Okay, then I will Click a circle here. How to click the circle, you understood. How to click the circle, you see, please. Here there is two options of circle. Circle with the center through point. Circle with the center through point. Means, suppose I want to have a circle with the center C. Just click it. Then you just... Take the comfortable radius. Suppose I want this much only radius. Just you click there. Circle is ready. Once again, take a point. Place it somewhere. Click the circle command. Click yet. And take the desired radius. Just click it. That's all. So this way you can have a circle. Okay. Now... 
what do you mean by midpoint or center that i was telling you just to click it then what this tool will do midpoint or center select two points one segment like that anything you can practice now select two points i am selecting two points this point and this point exactly j will be the midpoint i hope it is understood the midpoint of c and d will be j and if i am clicking once again line segment a point and line segment b then the midpoint of the line segment will be shown to you is that clear everybody yes, clear okay? clear 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 okay okay like that each and every basic tool we should be familiar with before starting animation then we got a circle now i can show you again i will make it a page refresh means a new one circle another command is there circle with the center and radius what it is you want to learn this command also geogebra manual is all available in the net geogebra manual all the commands and examples are there that you can download and learn as a beginner then just click it circle with the center and radius then what it is exactly it is written select a center point and enter the radius suppose this is the center point i want to then go to circle command what now i want select center point a is the center just click it now a box will be popped up you have to type in the radius desired radius suppose 3 unit you want just to type in 3 then click it okay then you got a circle then you got a circle is it okay understood then suppose i don't want access just remove it i want to keep this circle as a dotted circle like this okay a very light circle is there my purpose i will tell you just click a point on the object point on the object means if you are clicking a point sometimes point may not be on the circle but here it is assured that point is on the circle b but i have done very clear then right click on that point and trace on just click it and right click again that point animation on then what is happening you see now this is the abcd of the animation you see exactly uh, it is showing a circle and suppose i am just click it here and like this that a trace already wiped off and again it is drawing a circle now it is very interesting and what i want to tell you suppose okay sir, sir please repeat once sir please yeah, repeat yeah, yeah. i will i will i will i will i will repeat i will repeat very interesting so you can see new new means you are getting a page like this you don't want the access here just here also button just click it you see it is coming and vanishing you want the grid coming and vanishing okay keep it there and take a point this is our my center point of the circle i want to make a circle with the center a go to circle command there are two circles i told you i am choosing the second one circle with the center and the radius just to click it now you click the point a then radius you have to input 3 unit just to enter it you got a circle now right click the circle right click the circle object properties style you go to and make the line dotted line then you close it then you click it somewhere now a very light circle is there if you want you can give the color to some yellow color 
or orange color something like this and you can change the thickness little bit like this nothing harmful now i think it is a little bit uh, beautiful now what i want to tell you go to point command but the point on the object point on the object just click it then click the circle when you bring near to or on the circle it will be highlighting just click it like this now you got a point b now you go to segment command once again you go to segment command segment command line segment command just click it click to the point a and click to the point b you know what it is radius radius now you can keep the uh -huh. radius hello hello am i audible yes yes, yes sir, sir. Oh. audible sir audible. okay just right click the radius just right click the radius go to object properties make the color little bit colorful student like color so this time green color and make it a little bit thick by this line style okay if you want you can change it to dotter line nothing harmful leave it like this okay now right click the point b right click the point b go to object properties in order to change the properties you go to object properties just click it i want the color is red color and make the point a little bit larger like this then i think this much is clear to you yes sir okay now what i want to tell you right click the point b again there is a command trace on trace on what the trace is also shown there in blue color just click it then right click b again animation on what is happening you see exactly a circle that is it is drawing with a three unit radius like this is it okay understood yes sir you want you can stop it here see see the thing see the thing okay now how to better this thing this is the starting point you learn now how to better how to excel the things what i want to tell you for that we will do something different this you cannot avoid only this way okay. that is a trace now screen is again blank now listen very carefully what i want to show you just uh, there is a there is a tool button slider that's a very important tool slider before that there is a abc button that is the for test suppose how to use test that's also very important just to click it i will come to slider button little bit later the time is running out then abc just to click it just to click it like this then circle i am typing circle then okay now you see circle is there and uh, we can right click go to object properties click the test small i am changing to large or extra large very large and bold i am making then color color means i can make it like this or i can make it like this but then i will give a background that is of little hard color like this is that very interesting once again shall i show you okay i will show it again listen please what i am doing only few commands i can discuss now due to time constraint otherwise it's a very interesting hours we can discuss sir, okay let us see explain about slider sir uh, i will i will i will come to it i will come to it okay just click the test button just click it then type the word circle or whatever you want to type just click it okay right click 
object properties then make it a red color but the background color red then okay for ground color that is i will give some yellow color but it is not viewable yeah. so you have to make it a, something extra large it is not good very large okay enough and if you make it a bold if you want leave it now our title is ready this title now i can drag somewhere like this so i can fix it right click fix the object now i am dragging you see it is not coming that got fixed so title is ready now what i am telling you go to slider go to slider just click it just click on the page now that is a interface like this a pop up window will be there number you want angle you want or integer i will choose number first command only and interval from negative 5 no 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 i want from 1 to 5 and increment that i can choose one unit or half unit okay i will choose a half unit but i am doing one second listen please just to go to slider just to click it then number slider i am using slider can be for angle slider can be for integer values only here i am choosing for number so name i will give the name radius i will give the name radius if you want otherwise also no problem Sorry. hello i am giving the radius then minimum value 1 maximum value 5 or 10 and the increment i am giving 0.5 then apply now you, you got a slider you can see slider name is radius and the value is one minimum value and you can change it before moving anything you are tool should be move button otherwise it will not work then you can see 1.5 2 unit then 2.5 then 3.5 up to 5 so slider is ready i will keep the slider somewhere here but uh, that is automatically fixed just uncheck it then you can place it uh, somewhere is that okay understood this much yes sir shall i repeat yes shall sir. i repeat is, it, is no, it okay no that's fine sir continue that's okay that's okay very good now go to circle <laughs> now go to circle now go to circle then circle with the center and the radius listen carefully now i am typing it now here i will type the word radius here i will type the word radius because radius is there in the slider okay now what happens you got a circle with a one unit radius and if you want to change the radius you just change the slider accordingly you can you can take the circle to anywhere you want suppose i am bringing it here then you can do the magic again now you see we are getting a circle of concern radius is it okay understood okay yes sir is it okay understood then again we can choose a point on the sorry, circle sorry. we can choose a point on the circle we can have a radius also everything that we are but i told you now we are going to excel the process then right click the b and uh, make it a color red make it a little yeah, bit larger <laughs> these all things we have to practice it to sir, make please it guide to you sir please guide Hello. from where we can enrich our knowledge about geogebra yeah 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 that i told you uh, you please uh, download uh, geogebra manual go to google and type it geogebra manual official manual will be there from international community all the tools are clearly explained all the tools are clearly explained and you do touch with the geogebra applet then only it is possible otherwise you have to attend such workshops but now one and a half hour is 